behold a great multitude which no man could number. Did you know that when Michelangelo made the designs for St. Peter's Basilica, he made sure that that dome, that enormous dome, was no bigger than the temple dedicated to all gods by Agrippa in the year 126 AD. Now, why would he not want to exceed the dimensions of a pagan temple? Certainly that temple was made with design of God's creation. It was beautiful in its proportions. These were certainly God's proportions. Uh, it, they conformed to the laws of the universe in a beautiful way, reflecting his glory. Is that why Michelangelo respected that pagan temple so much? The reason why he would not make St. Peter's Basilica bigger is not for what that temple was originally, but for what it became. For in the year 610, the Emperor Phocas finally gave that temple to Pope Boniface IV. It was exercised, and it was dedicated to Saint Mary and all martyrs. So Michelangelo honored the temple which became a model of God's redemption. Likewise, today we honor all saints because in the year 735, the feast day that was initially dedicated to all martyrs became a day to all saints, to those thousands upon thousands who are in heaven, that multitude that we just heard were worshiping in the vision of John in the book of Revelation. This day is dedicated to all of them. And we don't dedicate this to what they were originally. Like the temple, yes, they were beautiful in the sense that they represented God's proportions. They were made in God's image. But we don't honor them for what they were originally, but for their redemption, for what they became by grace. And in this sense, it's true that many of these saints, most of these saints, the, the great majority, the vast majority of these saints are unnamed. That was the significance of this initial feast, St. Mary and all martyrs. There are so many martyrs on the calendar that there wasn't room for all of them. Not only that, there weren't, as there's, there are more martyrs than we even knew their names to, to be able to honor by name. And so that's why there was a day dedicated for them. Many of them simply anonymous. And so it is that we don't honor these individuals, but for what they point to. Every one of these saints points to God's glory. They point to his redemption. And so it is that, that this changing of the temple, that temple that was initially dedicated for pagan uses, is a metaphor for so many of these saints, which, all, which so many of them began their lives with pagan purposes as well. But nothing is beyond the reach of God's redemption. And the witness of these saints will never end, whether named or unnamed. That's what Michelangelo had respect for, and that's what we're honoring today kind of like this. We've all seen a still pond, and we've seen a petal thrown into that pond. That petal might disappear from view. It may never be seen again, but the ripples continue to the edge of that pond. They, they go on, and nothing can stop them. Try as you might, you can't get rid of those ripples. And so it is for every life that honors God, that has received that grace, that has been given over to God's purposes, every single one of them, that witness will continue forever. Yes, in the lives they touched, but also as their prayers continue for you and me. Yes, that includes martyrs.
but it may also include your grandmother. It may also include your second grade teacher. It may include any number of people who now number that great multitude who are casting their, crone, their crowns before the feet of our Lord. Now, do you think that it takes away from them that we, that we don't name them, that we don't have a, a place on their calendar? Absolutely not. Because every single one of them, the cry of their heart was, not that I be seen, but that Christ be seen in me. That's the goal for every one of us. Yes, praise God for those saints who are honored, whose names are recognized, whose stories are told, who do have, a, who have their own place on a day of the liturgical calendar. But none of them wants their honor to rival God. Their lives are meant to point to God alone. That's all they care about. And if, if their story serves that purpose, so be it. If they're anonymous, so be it. It's all to the praise and glory of God. So some of these saints that we honor today, no, they don't have a place on the calendar, and some of them, by God's providence, that pebble will be acknowledged. God's divine providence will reach down, take out that pebble from the bottom of the pond, pick it up, and that story will be told for all eternity as well. But know that, that all these saints, their cry of their heart is salvation belongs to our God who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb. Salvation belongs to Him alone. And that's who we honor today in these saints. That's what their lives point to. And that's the call that you and I have as well. For not only may your own relatives, your own mentors perhaps, be honored today, but it may be someday that your life will be honored today as well. For so we hear in our second lesson, See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called the children of God. And so we are. And we shall see him ultimately as he is. And everyone who hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. So that is the hope for us today, as we labor, and sometimes anonymously. That's all right. Because what do we care about but that our lives point to God? That the pebble that we have become leaves ripples that continue for all eternity, whether that pebble is recognized or whether it is not. And so truly, as our gospel says, that may result in hardship, not just anonymity. It may actually uh, result in infamy, as it says, that blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Could it be that some of the saints we honor today in the world were accused falsely and their names were never cleared in the world's eyes? But their names are cleared today. For they now praise the name whose name they honor, whose, whose name who, is their primary identity, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the only name that matters today. That's the only name that matters to them. So let us honor our Lord Jesus Christ, whose grace created every single one of these saints, known and unknown. Let us honor their witness, which now intercedes for us, which continues, even as they witness our lives and urge us on in the race that we run. And so may our, the cry of our hearts today as well be, may it not be we who are seen, but may Christ be seen in us.